what we think we're doing here. And that was uh, what you, you were invited to, that's what you signed up to come to. Uh, it might be worth just reminding yourself what you signed up to come to um, all those months ago. The themes for our gathering, prayer and reconciliation and evangelism. Uh, themes that our Bishop Justin has uh, put forward as important for us to reflect on as a whole church. But really also our purpose is to realign ourselves with God and with God's word and the work uh, that we do professionally but also personally. I think it was Eugene Peterson, isn't it, that says actually I realised while I was doing the work of God, doing the work of God was killing me uh, because of the way I was doing it. And actually this time of year for us it's a little bit of a room space before September crashes down. chance to realign ourselves with each other professionally and with God and God's work in the world. And to help us to do that, the principles that we put together um, as a planning group, hopefully we'll share learning, um, develop our own formation, our own vocation, and that will mirror those themes of prayer and reconciliation and evangelism. Some of the groups that we've uh, I've been working with recently have been trying to work out the difference between a, a mission statement and a mission vocation statement. Yeah. Uh, everybody can have mission statements, but the mission or vocation statement is about what do I need to be to enable my mission statement to happen. Um, so if our mission statement or our, our aim is to work around the area of prayer, reconciliation, evangelism, and the question I guess at the beginning of my gathering is well, what do I need to be to enable my life to happen? And also we recognise as a, a planning group that spiritual growth is core to what we do. Um, and yet it's something which sometimes gets taken away from us or we do it in the very process of the work. So we wanted to reconnect and give opportunity to reconnect to the spiritual growth as well. We were quite keen to, to call this a gathering rather than a conference. Um, just because it is, it's about people who network together and come together. Uh, rather than going to be told stuff. We've got people who are going to tell us stuff over the next couple of days. Uh, we have Andy Walker, who's uh, I'm here just to listen. Is there? And Sarah Hills. And Chris Russell, who waiting from behind his doors, is not here until tomorrow. Uh, so three people to help us think and help us engage, and we're going to have some small groups that we'll work with and in as well. Uh, we do that kind of thing to support and challenge. So, in that spirit, just a conversation on the tables, um, and you may have been having these conversations already over uh, lunch. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? And uh, what do you bring to this gathering? What's on your mind at the moment? And what do you bring to this gathering? Just five Thank you. 
And also we have on um, Thursday evening and Friday morning some space for some conversations which we don't yet know what we're going to be. So we have some open space on Thursday evening and Friday morning. And just to encourage you, um, things we've probably done before, but if you would like to put an offering up to have some of those conversations or to host some of those conversations, then please do it by putting on your offer on a piece of paper uh, on the board for my space. It looks a little bit complicated, but it's quite easy. Um, there's a, a line in a box with either an expert or a process side to that. If you would like to have a conversation around uh, MDRs and how they are being undertaken in your diocese or where you can best learn from that, you want to find out what anybody else is doing about that. Um, describe what it is you'd like to have a conversation about, so MDRs. Are you an expert on that? Or are you somebody who would just like to have a wide range of conversations that you more want somebody who facilitate a conversation? So can you lead that conversation or can you facilitate that conversation? Put a mark on that line to say whereabouts you are, what your name is, or anybody that you'd like to have a conversation with. Put it up there and we'll work it through. <laughs> you just generate things that you'd like to have a conversation about. Put it on the last place. We'll come back to it and remind you to do it uh, again and again. Uh, if there's nothing up there, we'll land it. That was a threat, that wasn't it? <laughs> um, but please make, uh, make use of those uh, so that we can find things. Don't miss the opportunity to pick everybody else's brain and learn and experience and find out what's going on. And also throughout the course, we'll, there are times when we'll break into smaller groups. So we'll break, break into groups of about six or seven. And we'll just arbitrarily put you in groups. Uh, and I'll read them out because uh, I haven't put the surname on there as well. There are five areas that we'll meet. Uh, and we're going to go on a tour so you'll know where they're going to be. Sure. The bar, the most important one, downstairs. Um, Wilson Large, which is this room here. Wilson Small, which is the room or the seminar room which is next door. And the two rooms in the, the new refractory, which are at the far end of where we act for food. So if you keep going through that, you come to rooms that are in the new refractory at the far end and the refractory bar and refractory one. So meeting in the bar, uh, Tim, Helen, Chris, Liz, Philip, and Nick. There's, there's, everybody seems to be called Tim. <laughs> uh, in the CME network at the moment. In fact, I'm just saying something about you. Uh, or to me. Check your, uh, your service. Uh, in this room, Wilson, Sue, Mark, David, Jeff, Rick, Sarah, and Barry. In the seminar room, Tim, Alistair, Charles, Leslie, Tim, Bill, and Belinda. In the new refectory room, Stuart, Andrew, Jeff, Paul, Roger, Catherine, and Janet, and the refractory bar, Simon, Ian, Jonathan, Terry, Naomi, Andrew, and John. You're not supposed to remember those, but roughly, all of those, uh, those you can find your way around. But we meet fairly regularly in small groups to have a, a chance to ground some of the learning that we're involved in. Now, Sue so is going to take us on a tour. Uh, we're going to come back to so, the uh, So we can leave stuff here, but we're going to go for uh, a walk around the ground so that we can orientate ourselves and uh, begin to meet each other and greet each other as well. So we do different things at different times. Any questions, queries, or things I forgot to say? Who we want? Names. Who we all are. Who we all are. What we'll do as we go around? We're working on the assumption that we've got these with our names on. And if you don't know anybody, just walk up to somebody and go, who are you? And uh, in the Anglican way, you will just nod, smile, and gently shake your <laughs> Looking meaningfully over your right shoulder. <laughs> and avoiding eye contact at all. <laughs> and then we'll come back in. Yeah. Anything else? Queries? Excellent. We're going to follow suit. We don't need to, we need to go to the new refectory also has an entrance from the outside as well as the like the the college refectory. Yes. If you're getting if you're getting to it through the college refectory, 
As you go in through, in fact, it's the door on the left-hand side, you go through the right-hand side section to the kitchen. So, you may not want to. We're going to go and look at the entrance to the new refectory. While we're up there, I'll show you how to, there are two bits of the church, the big church over there. There's upper church, which is where the community worships. And we're joining them for even song tomorrow. And anyone who wishes is welcome to join them for Compline after we finish in the evening. And I'll show you where the door is to get into that. And then we have lower church, which is where we have our own worship. Um, you can't get into lower church without the key, um, which I will make sure it's open at the time's advertised. If anybody wants to get in on the other stage, I'll tell you how to work with me and I'll tell you where the key is kept. That's probably the best rather than so And then we will go to, as far as the bar and then back up here. That's where we're going to go. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And we're stopping on the way around? Yeah, we're stopping on the way around. There's not much room. Okay, so if you'd like to follow me, we'll go and look at the external entrance <laughs> to the new refectory. Just one thing that's to remind you as well, the community yes. are in chapter at the moment, so they're not in silence. So they're very happy to, uh, they're, 